it takes a bit of confidence. Confidence in your equipment, confidence in your team, but most importantly, confidence in yourself. Knowing that when reality hits and it's time to jump, you've done everything possible to get your men to the ground safely. My favorite jump that I've ever had was at Airborne School, and it was my first jump because I was the first person at the door to jump out. So my first experience of jumping out of an airplane was actually looking at the door, staring at the ground before the green light came on. And I've never had the biggest adrenaline rush in my life than that. So as a jump master, there's a lot more to it than just jumping out of the aircraft. You have to ensure that all the paratroopers exit the aircraft safely. You have to ensure all the function checks in the aircraft are working and have integrity. You also have to coordinate with the DZSO on the ground and make sure that the winds are within tolerable uh, range to be able to jump safely to the ground. It's a very, very valuable duty to have. So I've been a pair since 1991, so about 22 years, and I've been a jump master at 18 or so of those years. We have to uh, inspect all the gear after the jumpers get rigged. You inspect them once they're rigged to make sure they don't have any deficiencies. Then you load them on the airplane, make sure then you're responsible for all the safety on the airplane. And then we work with the aircrew on the airplane to get them out on a certain spot above the earth to make sure they can land back on their drop zone safely. This part of the job is fun because you're just out jumping and everybody likes to jump. Everybody that has jumped likes to jump, so it's a good day. Blue skies, a little bit of clouds. Um, there really are no bad things. It's just all fun. What it takes to be a jump master.